All right, welcome back from that report. Lagos State is said to be in one of the biggest economies uh, or biggest cities in the world. Making money now in dollars is an achievable goal thanks to the multiple opportunities offered by the digital age and globalization. The prospect of making money is tempting, but it is important to stay realistic and understand the risks that come with and the undertaking. Now, my guest uh, is a certified blockchain architect and metaverse expert, uh, Rume Dominic, joins me to discuss ways to earn in dollars to mitigate against the free fall of the Naira. Good morning to you, Rume. Thanks for joining me on Business Insights. Yeah, good morning to you, my regular friend. Thank you for having me. It is indeed a pleasure as always. Rube, let me just start this way. You're talking about earning in dollars. I've not seen dollars in like a while. Dollars like very scarce and essential commodity as it were. With the free fall of the Naira, let's just start that way. What is really going on? Because uh, it's as though the Naira is just falling. I hear it's about 1,500 Naira right now. Actually, this morning is a thousand, almost 1,600 Naira for $1 at the moment. So you can imagine the importance of this topic, how you can actually earn in a stronger currency against your own currency that is already depreciating. You know, this topic is something that is very catchy to people. So I want to start by putting your mindset in that particular space. Mm. Now, imagine for me, um, how did I start earning my first dollars? So just imagine I, I was a member of a community and the members of my community were getting scammed. So um, it happened to me because of positioning part time and I was also prepared for the opportunity. So the members of my community, they were getting scammed because they were trying to buy cryptocurrencies online. And then I saw that and I decided that, OK, let me write a post about it. And I wrote a post about it and I started seeing that about a lot of people were engaging with that post. And because of that post, it provided a lot of people information to start trying to mitigate against that situation. So they all started gravitating towards me to be able to get them that particular service. And another thing too, the because I wrote that particular post in the, on the Web3 platform, the, the post started earning or growing having more impressions, and then started making some dollars for me as well. And today, that post has actually earned me some amount of dollars. So it is usually most times seeing an opportunity, taking having a skill that is already in that particular niche that the opportunity has presented itself, then taking hold of that opportunity. All right, now, so let's just uh, get to the crux of it as it is right now, because a lot of people, and also myself included, are wondering, you know, some of ex these things that could be done, the ventures that one can get into, legal ventures, that is, uh, without uh, having issues with the law, you know, so that uh, we can actually buffer all of these e economic issues that we have. Just give us some of the tips. Let's just get right into it. Okay, so some of the trajectories into making dollar legally, you can see it can even be from a non-technical skill set like writing, just like as I made mention of before, right? You can see that it can also be from a technical skill set like maybe um, engaging with the financial market. A lot of people right now, they have there's like this crazy this craze around the Gen Z generation around the. This particular generation, the modern man, today, they want to be able to engage with the financial market, they want to trade forex and all that. And trading can be one of the most common ways that people can earn cryptocurrencies and digital assets, even foreign currencies in 2024. You see, whenever you buy these different currencies and exchange one pair against the other, just like if you had, uh, like now, if you had actually traded the naira against the dollar like i think there was a point in time i was on this your show too and um there was a, a a very bad situation in the country and i also predicted in my speech that the dollar was going to hit above 1100 at that time mm -hmm. and you can see if you had just traded that particular information you'd have been making so much more money today because of that was information so people can make money from trading as one of the way to end this currency but they must have access to good information 
And so, so let, let me butt in. Let me butt in, um, uh, um, Rome, we, Let's take it um, bit by bit. You know, you talked about trading now, but it's not something that one could just uh, get into like that. I'm sure one will need some sort of information, or is it something that would take a while, or do you need to go through the tutorials? And um, how soon can one uh, be an expert in this trading that you're talking about? So becoming an expert is a thing of mind and your ability to focus there and also uh, maybe a space of maximum two months right if you're actually very focused in uh, not like so experts in trading but at least you can move from a beginner level to what to an intermediary level now you must education you, you know one of my mantra is this you need education to build and establish an economy you need education to build and establish an economy and for you to also be successful in this niche which is trading you must get education and one thing we'll do at um, our company is we provide this form of trading education for cryptocurrency and digital assets another way people can actually trade this market is by providing um, services in terms of people a lot of people want dollar a lot of people want um, these uh, foreign currencies, you can tell them that you are providing such a service, link them to a major supplier, and then you can naturally add some money on top. Like some of our affiliates in our company, what they do is if I say, okay, I can sell to you, because of the scarcity of the dollar right now, they can say, okay, I can sell to you maybe $50,000. And then they come and a big company like ours, like Vorem, and say, Vorem, we want $50,000 for sale. And then Graham can ask, okay, $50,000 that you, you want is maybe 1530 You now, you can put a spread on top, right? And say it's 1550 I'm able to make 20 naira on top of that volume. So let's mm. say if you do a volume of $50,000 times, so 20 naira becomes profit. So you can also leverage around the chaos happening in the market of this dollar hike and also be able to what make money because in every crisis there's an opportunity and because the opportunity of scarcity supply and demand is always there you can make money using um avenues like this okay it's more like using a more a giant a, a bigger company and then you yourself you are able to say you offer that service and then you are making money from there Another way too is that you know the skill around this. Like um, I understand, I got to skill is an important factor in any in any foreign currency. Like you know, some of you can get the skill of um, programming, and then okay, like I was saying, it's not really we must not export cash crops to every, every to the whole world. We can export our talents. Mm. We've seen that the millennial generation now. What we've been able to do in Nigeria is that we have, apart from exporting crude oil, apart from ex even in worry, apart from exporting crude oil, which we are known for as the oil city, we've also been able to export some tech talents. Like for for our company, some of them come and they learn solidity programming, they learn crypto finance, they learn AI and cryptocurrencies, and some companies in US, some companies in Australia, some companies in UK, they they are in need of this type of. Um, skill and because they have already learned this type of skill at, at the academy here, they are not able to get employed and they start earning foreign currencies. We have a student like that that is currently earning about five thousand dollars and is able to support his or his um, parents and every other person is able to put one or two infrastructure on ground because he was able to acquire the skill set to the bold step forward to also be able to collaborate with other companies that is doing that same thing in his niche. So these are some of the ways you can leverage that advantage. Okay, let's talk about digital assets for one um, a minute. Uh, specifically, let's talk about the crypt cryptocurrency, uh, cryptoverse as it were in its entirety. How is it really doing? Because uh, before now, there, there was a bit of um, some sort of um, volatility in the crypto market. You know, with all that is happening with the Naira, is it the right time to really invest in crypto? The right time to invest in crypto is depending on your conviction and you knowing the market cycles. Now, 
I always tell my students that whenever they listen to me or whenever they learn with me or whenever they invest with me, they start from a place of success. Because with me, I've had over five years experience in the industry of cryptocurrency investment, and they are starting from a place of success. They will never experience the failures that I've experienced in the past. So this is the advice that I have as regards that question. The cryptocurrency market is just four cycles. And the four cycles, I'm going to be very specific this morning about it. We have the crash, we have the reset, we have the halving, and then we have the peak. Mm. Now, these different four cycles happen in four years. Mm. In cryptocurrency, there's something called Bitcoin halving that always happens every four years. It's all, coincidentally, you can use this event to actually understand and follow the cryptocurrency cycle. Now, remember again, I said the cycles are just for reset, the, the crash, sorry, okay. the reset, the halving, and then the peak. Mm. Now, in 20... 22 bitcoin crashed so much right mm. yes it did. as bitcoin crashed so much 2023 it, it crashed to fifteen thousand dollars 2023 was the year of the resets now it went from fifteen thousand dollars to this current level where it is now about fifty thousand dollars as of this 2024 because mm. no in 2023 it was about maybe forty nine thousand dollars before the year. i think it got to about forty nine thousand dollars now, 2024 is the year of the halving. You must have been hearing that Bitcoin is going to half this year. Mm -hmm. it's, it's less than 65 days to the next Bitcoin halving. And that event is the event of the cycle of the market that is called the, what, the halving. Whenever that happens, it means that the supply of Bitcoin that is being put into the market will be reduced. Because there are only going to be 21 million Bitcoins available in the world. And because there are over 8 billion people in the world. Imagine 21 million bag of rice to feed 8 billion Lagosians this morning. Uh, there will definitely be war. And there would be a lot of people demanding for that 21 million bag of rice more than the supply will be available. Mm. So because of this event, Bitcoin, there's something specular with Bitcoin. The supply of Bitcoin reduces by half every four, four years, and it's going to happen again in this 2024. We've always seen a very amazing shoot up or pump in the price of Bitcoin during this period and this season. So with that said, after the halving, we will now get towards to peak, which means after that event, this Bitcoin will still continue to pump to reach a new all time high. Mm. Okay. And this has happened consistently in 2020. And we experienced the peak in 2021 before the crash. Okay. This also happened in 2017. Right? Yes, it did. And over the years, it has actually what happened across the different data points. You know, the secret to charting analysis is to always look left. And when you see Listen to the word over the years, you know that is a term is a term of the past that is looking what looking left already. Mm. So you will definitely be successful following this. If you are investing now, you can get into the market, but by August 2025, remove every single one of your assets because we will be experiencing All right. a volume in the market. Oh, thanks for the warning and thanks for that uh, particular insight. I'm sure lots of people would actually be happy to hear, you know, that and do, do you want to like guard against that? Then, okay, we've talked about um, trading in um, foreign currency. We've talked about um, uh, selling digital skills and all of that. But you also just spoke about um, the cryptoverse and um, the volatility, the growth and all that has happened in the past years. You know, I just want us to talk for a minute now before we wrap up this um, session. Uh, everyone is talking about artificial intelligence. Uh, so in all of this, where does it really come in? Uh, what, how can you exploit it to the fullest to making some dollars, as it were? <laughs> it's just becoming good at what you do and turning your business to an art. Like for me, I started as an electrical electronics engineer from Covenant University in my trajectory. I got, I saw that technology of the future will take over, so I started looking at blockchain. And 
I also did um, upskilling of myself in the metaverse web theory and now in artificial intelligence. In these different fields, I have, I have books in these different fields, supporting textbooks, yeah. which means I have in AI, I have in blockchain, I have in metaverse as a theory type model. So you can see that people, because I've perfected my craft over the years, I can easily demand for $1,000. I can easily yeah. demand for $500. I can easily demand for $5,000. I can easily demand for $10,000. So, and because I've actually, over the years, on every of my bets, they released a book. I've turned it into an art. Yeah. So every of my birthday, people are now expecting that, okay, this man is going to celebrate and also give us something that is going to be educational and change our mind. So doing things like this, we see that you can actually demand higher in any these things like um, in uh, foreign currency. Now, when you talk of this artificial intelligence as a skill now that um, you now fall in love with, you now get better. You now say, you say, I want to get into some communities. I want to be able to upskill myself with one or two certificates. Definitely, you know, the world is already not going, the world will not recede back in technology. Mm. And this is where the uncommon advantage comes in. So connect the gap and you'll make a lot of money. All right, thank you so much, Rumi, for all of um, these um, useful insights that you all share on the program. But uh, just one more thing uh, before we let you go now. Still talking about the free fall of the Naira. Do you see this particular trend uh, going the same way in the next uh, few months that's the Naira falling? Romo, did you, did you get my question? I got your question. I had to take a deep breath. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I honestly would pray that as um, a country we're able to e export some more, mm. so we can have more foreign currencies in our reserve. I also hope that some of the policies that the new um, CBN governor is also doing, I think he said they recovered a, 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 a huge sum of dollar recently from some of these policies that he has put in. Yeah. And that has seen that maybe we're having more dollar reserves. Mm. This might possibly see that the trend slows down in the mm -hmm. next three months, like you have said. Mm. However, my, as looking at it from a from a broader perspective, I I think we might just hit we might we probably might just hit two thousand. All right, let's just hope we don't um, hit that, and uh, just hope that all of the policy uh, or policy dynamics that uh, the federal government is working on gets to bring us some sort of uhuru at the end of the day. I've been speaking with um, certified uh, blockchain architect and uh, metaverse expert Rume Dominic. Thanks for your time this morning. Thank you for having me, my very good friend. Uhuru. <laughs> All right, then. That's the size of the show. Many thanks uh, for being a part of it. I am Justin Akadonis. See you again next time.